So you got one on the mid lane, just on the Radiant Cliff side. Now this will see all the way over towards the mid T1 tower. And then the one on the bottom lane is actually looking up to the T1 tower on the bot. So the second you bring support in, you'll know it. However, Scylla on the bottom, up against Eternal Envy, lets the call down go to more support. The Sonic Wave with the Scream gets the kill with the Searing Chains. They're still fighting underneath Tombstone. This is not the greatest position in the world. Yeah, my Snowball actually protects maybe, which you will do so, dragging him up to Eternal Envy. They still haven't finished the kill. 13 HP or Survival Fate. And picks up a double oh, kill on the other side. Oh, he's actually on the other side of the tree to live and get the kill on Tuscar. Nice LGD so. just can't get a sausage. Yeah, smoke from C9 now. As the gyro revealed himself, they instantly tried to wrap around this. Yeah, no tell TP out. Dyer's he actually TP to the tier two tower to join that smoke gank. And Dyer's this observer ward, which LGD placed, maybe it's going to give them the false sense of security. Yes, it could actually. Sometimes your vision works against you. But at the same time, look at the vision of the Dire side. They only see Scylla here on the top lane. They oh, don't understand the trap. Envy comes in from behind, however. Yao goes for the shot. Bow 7, a big blink in. He goes for Xiao Wei, dragging him back. So no Laguna play, but then set up in towards the end. The Yields are protecting him while the call out. Perfect position with the flag cannon. Envy's still alive with the storm going, but maybe he's your big man. Spirit jumping away. He needs to escape from the rest of Cloud9 because he's destroyed the rest of his team. Beautiful Cloud9 fight. take almost everything in the air. The stun on maybe. He's still got the spirit down. Down the flame break, the extra stun, try to drain out the mana, a quick slide of fist into the spirit bump. 450 crits. Yeah. With just a normal attack. Dyer's middle yeah, he's, tower is under he's hitting very, very strong. But Queen is the top farmer in this game as well. So she's there with a hex and EKB. Uh, and V turns on the LT, instantly gets light strike to Ray, as well as the shards keeping the rest of his teammates out. They rock it, they start in control. The only doing is working, and it's good last with the Yule Scepter up in time, and Xiao Wei burst it down by Faye. The BKB protected oh. for a while, and LGD getting destroyed into their own tier 4 towers. They saw rip up as much as they can for Envy to keep them alive on the front lines. Radiant's they never even burned the Ego Sea Mortal. The buyback will be there from Jaro. They have to keep this Radiant's bottom ranks alive. They but cannot how? allow C9 to do it. Side of Fist Searing Chain, that's one way. There's no, actually, they have cooldown still up. They're still available for them at the moment. So either it's a jump into the pit, which would be oh, no, useless just because the spirit's down. there. They want to fight. They want to fight straight up. But LGD don't. But LGD is still grouped up as five, and they're on the other side. Oh, this could be terrible. They're going to show themselves on this creep wave. Actually, no Blink time for forward. the gargoyle. Fader actually blinked forward, so the smoke now breaks for LGD. There's a jump in. Yao punching him up, bone seven. He gets a drive back over on Xiao Wei, and Fader explodes the dazzle. They move quickly over to one Xyla. Xiao Wei, the Shadow Grace keeping him alive. But where's your extra help? The Emissary is not melting. doing enough of worth. Maybe he's just running away. Once again, the sole survivor of LGD. And bone seven strikes up, and they found him. They get the hex. It's going to be a team wipe in favor of Cloud9. <laughs> LGD, they'll probably lose racks at this point. Every single hero brought down. Oh boy, this is complete disaster. They only have buyback on a tusk. Like this is this is definitely Rax the time of this death. Yep. I think that's what they're gonna go for attack. as well. Okay. Envy was thinking about going mid there. He was like, can we get two racks out of this? I don't think they're going to do this safe play. Radiant There's too much of a creep wave in mid. It'll take you too long to mop it up. But you can take the Radiant's tier 2 tower at least after this attack. and then go for Roshan. So we have Tuskar as well as Lena back up again. Bone Seven's just searching Radiant's around and it is just going to be the back out. No reason to overstay your welcome in now, unless you can find yourself a pick off. There's your Sonic Wave going again. The Shallow Grave protecting Xiao Wei with a double stun in from Misery. They found Yao. He's down for the count. Xiao Wei, is there enough life? The Yule Scepter just trying to buy time for something, but there's nothing that oh, can save him. The buyback came back in, but he's snowballing into the middle of all of Cloud9. Tossed around. This could be a quicker GG. The call in a nice position. Misery dropping quickly, but Eternal Envy, he's leeching out. Well, nothing. He hasn't taken any damage. The Emperor is back into the fight. Chasing him down, both seven successful TP away, and Envy just trying to man mode the rest of LGD. Side of missing is spurting back and forward. Maybe we'll finally get the kill. A triple <laughs> kill for Scylla. Look at Scylla's gold. just for it. Just press enter and look at the gold that Scylla got from that team fight. He took 3,033 gold. They're not feeling 100% that they're Radiant's not going to be bottom already. Like it's. Proof. They think that they were gonna go top now, of course, it's obvious. Considering how quickly he's gonna move from, from position.
position to position. It's okay. I mean, it could be money spent towards second data list, though. I, I'm not sure if I like it or not. There's the tombstone committal bone seven. He's uh, only halfway through that firefly, so looking for a target. Silo is the best one here. That BKB ammo on Gamatis. She also flags back. He picked up an alpha wolf, so there's bonus damage. She comes Vader. In for that on for the snowball on from Yao. They might look for the secondary one. There are flies out. MMY is dropping low for Vader. Not finding any kills with it just yet. Yao will be one of the first ones to drop down. We shall wait. The Silas Edge is growing. No so damage. much damage. 198 taken. 224 was the end number. Yeah, Radiant everything being stolen by Envy there as Fada dove in and kind of kept the enemy team off. But two of them died, and Razor is very be low. Be careful, here. Envy. Be really, really careful. He's got an Aegis the Immortal, so he can come Radiant back alive. He's still going to pop up for the range racks and Sila. Well, he's standing his ground here. Creep Wave is going to remain, and they I look for the up. extra stun. So, point seven actually being Searing chained up, and they're going to find the kill. The Ember Spirit, the man to do it. The can they dagger. get the collateral? Yep, you just chase it up into a Searing chain. Eternal Envy can go for the Plasma Field of Static Link but he's still down for the count. Double kill for the Ember Spirit. Every single kill gives so much gold as well. Look at that. Ember Radiant Spirit, 644 gold from Batfire, 694 from the Razor. Want to do that? Like, you still want to put the Aegis on your on your Razor, I would say. It's a five-man smoke at LGD. I'm not going to let him have it, but then again, Cloud9, they started it, and then they fell back. So Fader, the first man in the front of the list, he'll BKB. Hexton, Jalway, is lighting in with a sonic wave. They're still going to find that kill. And then Y can be lassoed up, so there's no Shallow Grave going to help them out. They're fighting within the tombstone, but now Syla finally with the cooldown going to work. Watch your Ember Spirit as well. He's going off the Bone 7. They've finished to actually bring down line. Bone 7 successful to run away, and then MMY is going to cut him off with the pass. Trying to be denied for the neutral, not possible to do so. So, Vader and Envy, controlled as maybe bounced himself away on the back of the spirit. Our game, something like that, against C uh, against LGD's lineup. But it's Cloud9's one. Well. Straight up don't. Cloud9 love these late games. No, C9 don't. <laughs> they don't like this one. <laughs> but they, in general, they find themselves in two, two and a half hour games. Yeah. About that. Here they Some come. Maybe. Cloud9. Well, the tombstone drops on the man. There's your lasso. He found Yao. Oh, so Tuska being pulled back out again. Where is your damage, though? Like, you've got Fader attacking the melee ranks on the top. And then Slider Fu's here in chain with a blink Radiant dagger up. Fader has to BKB himself away to safety. They still haven't gotten rid of the tombstone. Now Silo will come in and do the job. But as you said, he doesn't bring much in the continued fight. He's about oh, to go down. So far up, they jump in, they go to Bone 7 with a snowball up. They still haven't found the kill yet, and the stun Yao Shadow Grave will be protecting him. The finger of death as well, so Tigon was enough oh, to kill Yao, but damage. Envy's right next to him. The Glimmer came and forced up away. <laughs> Yao will survive. They keep the Tusker up, and now Shadow Wave Fader wants to throw the ulti out. He'll bring in the leader, but Eternal Envy, still the main man. The front lines of misery. A double stun on Silent and Y. They fall for the hex, but now Fader under the tier 3 tower, punched up into a the air and oh, it the down! 4 6 one. Rex, That's all you need! Are dying. It's fine, Cardi, is he strong enough? Yao, okay, Yao's not strong enough to fight this. He has a snowball to get away from the rest of the freeway boss, Ember Spirit, killing up the rest of Cloud9. You might lose melee Rex, but you still hold them in. You're not up against Megas, and the Ember remains alive through all of this. Yeah, they won that fight very convincingly. No buyback as well on Eternal Envy. He bought the Satanic before this, so there might be the, the knowledge on LGD as well that they... The they eight second straight. window? Yeah. That's a big window, dude. Okay, maybe. Is this just when you when you go like all the way? <laughs> Never die, you beautiful <laughs> bastard. Even, even with the GG call. Yeah, even Dyer's if they lose. Well, so so Sala's gonna push the tier three tower. Here's Dyer's the BTs coming in. The Ember Spirit will join it, and we actually get another divine rapier purchase. It's on the courier. So they're coming for the tier three tower. That's it, his backup rapier. It looks Dyer's like oh LGD. <laughs> LGD will take the mid rex. It's worth a like a fallback from this point though, unless they think they can go for more. And actually, they're going for more. The Lincoln Spear's gonna be triggered now over on the Ember Spirit. They're taking up the tier three tower. Looking seconds. for the melee rex. The phone seven jumps in. He drags back. Silent the phone seven. The damage coming in from Ember. Yeah, will punch him down. Sonic Wave was nice, but the damage is negligible. They'll actually get even more kills, more time. Envy's alive in three seconds. There's Dayon going to work for the ladder from misery. <laughs> But the melee racks, they really want to have this dead. Dyer's they're taking care of the creep wave and the tower, the racks. Sila still going at it. He's got to get away from this Dyer's one. He takes out the melee and then the blinking. Misery, dead and burning. 
right from the Ember Spirit. Fade is still on the front line. Silent MMY. Where's that Ember? He's running away. He can't really risk coming back in here again unless he loses the Rapier. Or do they feel like they can take this? Ember's on the front line. Oh, Fader actually again. trapped. There's no BKB for two more seconds. Silent will drop. And maybe, are you still going to stay here? Tusk here comes here. Tusker. He goes for Fader. Throwing him up into the air. The BKB is up. Snowball protecting. The Sigil's still going to drop. And he draws over towards Envy. Blink Dagger. Two more seconds. Too long, too long on cooldown for the Shadow Group. Remember, why Ember Spirit back in again. Going with Fader. Spirit Jump. Nah, Spirit Ball. He takes it out. Envy will still be tossed around like a rag doll. But maybe he's going back in again. Kree Wave actually has Nether. Where is he going? He's actually going into a place that is he's... not his own. Into the tree line to TP back to base. And he is home safely <laughs> next to his backup rapier. Oh. But Ember Spirit's got to get there. Like he can spirit and he'll find the damage. But who's coming down? No tell. He doesn't have Tombstone available. Just throws the ward, so they cannot stop this rush up. Oh, they will try though. They but know how right bad it will be if they don't. They're right underneath an observer ward. Bow seven jumps and he found Xiao Wei. But if it's here in chain so we can't drag him back any further. Shallow Grave keeping Xiao Wei alive. He does have force up and your stuff. And with the cold, they bought some space. Eternal Levy turns on the BKB and the Satanic. So no extra life steal on the moment. He's trying to get the kill. It's not enough. Shall we? MMY keeping up his captain and Styler even in more trouble. They might want to have that. The fight's gone so long. The tombstone's back off cooldown. Now down on the high ground. They need to bring this down. The supports in the work. So there goes your tombstone. A title envy. He's gonna drop. Maybe he's here on the front lines. He found the. It's a death gold. 66, 66. Killing after Big Daddy No Tail. Throwing them up. Asking me, Yeah, doing the work. The more TV support is misery. Maybe he's hunting him down. Burning him. He'll use it to stay alive. And No Tail. Where is the damage? We're split to two different sides. Mystery no extra crit! Oh it was God. almost 2k! 1968 in the crit for that one. Cloud9, they're backing up with their tail between their legs. Yeah, and they have nothing on the lineup of LGD right now. This is gonna be brutal. They have buyback available on Razor. He has Dyer's to do it here. Can't just let the enemy attack. take your entire base. <laughs> this, this, yeah, this is. Oh, this actually, be they, they have the tier two bottom, but they're still just gonna go for it here. <laughs> they still have the tier one. Oh, they're they killing never they're, they're going for the GD push. They're actually using. They're using the void to pick up the gem. <laughs> That's a void courier. Sonic Wave. Okay, that's negligible. The tier 4 tower's dropping. Yeah, he, you have to buy back. He has to come for 7. There's your drag back. He always likes to win the last moment. Maybe. He's very, very deep here. But then the defense is through Fader with the, with the scream. Sila and MMY. They're so low. The heal now. Sila turning on the Satanic. Getting the life back from Envy. But Envy taking away his damage. 84 points. And Sila dragged all the way back into the fountain. Not far enough to get the damage out from it. But you still have maybe doing the work. Cloud9. They're losing too many people. And Envy. He's a nice coffin of death of LGD. Oh, How much damage? There he is. He's a jump away. Maybe can't stand here anymore. Xiao Wei will drop. Sila still here on the front line. Slide a fist back in again. The fortress exposed. They're beating it down. Bone 7, what have you got? Nothing. No life. Nothing. He's down. 1653. That's the crit on him. This will be GG. There is no more defense. That's GG. LGD take game well one against Cloud9. GG will play. What a crazy game. LGD, 70 minutes in and 6 seconds is when they managed to turn this around finally and take the enemy ancient. And it's going to be one long day 